Hello everybody! Welcome to a video, a Dead by Daylight video. I know it's been some time since I've been doing the Dead by Daylight stuff, I know it's been a, been a little bit, but overall it's been just, I've been kind of away for Dead by Daylight, I don't know, I kind of got a little bit sick of the of the unbalance and the fact that the most recent killer was pretty, pretty freaking awful and grinding them to Prestige 3 wasn't very fun, but you know, I kind of stepped away for a little bit, but there's two things that brought me back. One, Decisive Strike change I've heard about, which is extremely nice and exciting. I like the change, and I know it's not in yet, but it's pretty neato. I like it. And more importantly, we're about around that period of time where a new chapter should be teased. So I'm rather curious to see what that new chapter will be. And I'm kind of excited to see what might be coming with it and hope to God it's better than the prior one. And also, I'm back because another reason, a little bit of self-promo as well. If you can't see right here, I have a new shirt. Dead by D... D-Light. No. Dead by Daylight theme merchandise is now in the store. I call it the Shock Tee. It has our big, terrifying little boy, the Doctor, here, as well as four disconnect icons right beneath it, because I've played enough Doctor to know what it's like when you when you fight a Doctor and realize what why people keep pulling out their Ethernet cords. So, a little bit cheeky, but a little bit fun. Comes in this uh, dark gray color, both in men's and women's cuts as well. And they also go up to 3XL for any of you thick boys out there who are interested in purchasing one. So if you're curious, go to BrickyMerch.com or look at it in the description. There's also a bunch of other stuff. We also have For Honor hoodies and a couple other different items as well. So that's one of, one of those little self-promo things I wanted to mention before we begin the video. And of course, naturally, we will be playing the Doctor for this video because if I'm advertising Doctor merchandise, I should be playing the Doctor as well. So... With that, we're actually going to run... I wasn't sure if I wanted to run an anti-healing build where I run Clown Phobia and Sloppy as well as the usual two core items. Or if I wanted to put a little bit extra stuff into into it. Uh, probably going to throw on the hunting category. It's been quite some time since i played this game. Like, quite some time. So, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do, per se. And I don't think I actually have anything that increases my terror radius. So, I might instead run just stressing uh, instead of that even though i don't get the clown phobia one anymore with that Do they have any items no nah, i don't really have any items oh well i was thinking if they had a little bit of items i might go ahead and give them the good swack with the franklins but not today hex dirty anal What the hell? Alright. Two two Jeffs, a Meg, and a Fang. I will admit, even though I haven't done any of the Lunar Event stuff, the Fang Min skin looks really nice. Not tactically great, you know, you're a little bit bright, but pretty cool looking. I do like it. I also like the Wraith's fancy skin. The nurse's skin is it's okay. I like the fact that I can see her face a little bit. That's kind of neat considering you can never really see her face beforehand. But overall, the Wraith one's not too bad. It's not quite as nice as Dapper Doc, but I will give them a little bit of credit for what credit's due. It's pretty neato. Wow, that's loud. Was it always this loud? Is it? I don't remember it being this loud back in the day. Oh, hey. There's Jeff. Wow, my sensitivity is high. I don't remember my sensitivity being this high at all. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, my. Okay, well, I think we'll start off with good old Jeff over here as I chase him, my obsession of all people who would have guessed. And we need to begin shocking the man. And we need to begin shocking him again. And I think I'm just going to keep on shocking him until he is tier 3 madness. And I'm having a really hard time getting around this car. Oh, he's... Oh, damn it. He's actually decent at the game. Shit. Oh. I am having a really hard time making my way around this car. Wait, what the heck? Well, that's weird. Oh. Hey. They're over here now. Uh, I... I'm pretty sure... There, there we go. 
I was like, I'm pretty sure that those were strikes. Okay. Weird beginnings. Very weird beginnings, I will be honest. Part of me has a feeling he's got, gonna have dead hard. Yep. Oh. Okay. Well, this is not a good start. This is a very bad start, but... Wait, when did he drop this? Oh, right, this is from the other one. Well, they haven't gotten any of the generators yet, so that's good, at least. Wow. Hey, buddy. What the hell are you doing here? Wow, my sensitivity is so high. I, I think I'm getting way too used to playing all the insane amount of Apex Legends I've been playing. And because of that, I'm ending up used to low sensitivity because I'm trying to learn how to aim better. Which I've been doing with Apex. Give me a second. I'm not camping you. I'm just lowering my sensitivity. Relax. Okay, uh, mouse sensitivity. Yeah, let's let's take that down to like 15. Okay. Better, but not better. Like, better, but not completely fixed. That's for certain. I'm surprised they haven't taken out my, my Hex Ruin yet. It's like, right there. Oh, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, right, that's the obsession. Uh, well, rest in peace that. Oh, rest in peace that one, too. Won't this make it so that he can't go through there anymore? Yeah, that's what I thought it would have, it would do. Okay. This, this Jeff is, like, giving me the business. I'm having a really hard time taking him down. Also, he's got dead hard, if I recall. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And he's also the obsession. That kind of sucks. So I'm assuming I'm going to get decisive strike now. Because that's just what's... Did he stab himself? Why did it seem like he shanked himself? Wait, like he was up there and then he was just like... Ugh, ugh. It's like he accidentally stabbed himself in the chest. Is that some new animation I'm not quite familiar with? Did they make it so if you miss? Actually, that would make sense. If you miss your decisive strike proc, it makes a, a sound effect like you're stabbing yourself. Kind of an odd way to do it, but all right. I mean, he is the obsession, and he didn't he didn't jump off he didn't jump off so. Huh? Who knows? I wonder if they think I'm here. Oh right. I'm surprised he actually was able to get away from that one as well. Wow, that is a. Why didn't I jump? That is, wow, that is a window, a huge area full of windows. God damn. I'm, not, I'm just going to run through this one. Ah, damn it, he knew. Well, I might as well destroy the pallet. I never understand why people do this, why they blind you when you're at the pallet. Like, you're not even destroying it yet. You would think they would want to blind you when you destroy the pallet, like while you're kicking it. Because naturally, then, that would be when I have the least vision. Is there a new vault? That was an odd-looking vault. Ah, this guy, this guy knows what's up. This guy's, this guy's good. This guy's definitely good. Is there, that was a weird-looking vault. God, how long have I been gone? I feel like I've been gone for years. Next thing I know, someone's gonna pull out an actual knife and stab me. Next thing I know, there's gonna be a whole new mechanic. Like, I remember my buddy came back one time after not playing DBD for a long time and was just like, Hey, what the hell are these claw marks around my name? Like, oh no. I found that particularly funny because I think we were fighting a Freddy that game. I was just like, oh god. Oh no. Oh, God. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, no. He was Freddy and he spawned in the dream world. 
So I think they they was running um I think it was running what was it dying light and then the black box combo that combo the one the the I'm gonna ruin one person's day really badly combo that's a good combo I'm a little bit dis disconnected ha huh. I'm a little bit disappointed that there have not been any disconnects yet I'm a little disappointed. Part of me was kind of hoping that if I was going to go ahead and, and make a doctor shirt that is all about disconnects, we were going to get at least one during this game, but I haven't received one yet. Damn, they got that person off quickly. I thought there were two people healing him over here. Hmm. Guess not. Oh, I need to make my way all the way to that other generator across the map because it was nearly done. I also need to find that other... That other, um, Jeff. He pulled me around this area for a long time. Yep. Yeah, there's that. Hey! Dead hard? No dead hard. Sorry, Hex Dirty Anal, quote unquote. Such a weird name. Good name, though. Yeah, someone's trying to finish that generator. Well, it still appears that in DBD... Practically the best way to end up taking out enemies is to just tunnel them hard. And as I'm playing right now, that seems to still be the way. I was kind of hoping there would be a way to fix that, you know? Because nothing is harder in this game than fighting four survivors. Like, fighting three survivors is just cakewalks the entire game. Alright, I have Extendo. Shock therapy. Uh, yeah, having a one survivor dead is a. They have a. Really? They have a pallet here? I thought the pallet was on the other side. I might just be wrong about that one. I might just. I might just remember that one wrong. I thought that bush was a player. I legitimately assumed that bush was a player. Ah, there she goes. Hey, other Jeff. I wonder why I didn't run to the pallet. Well, so long as I keep on hitting people. But, yeah, because before, it was always like, get one person dead every time. Always make sure you kill a player. Because killing a player early just completely changes the game. It's a night and day difference. There we go. I don't know. I don't know. That was that was the thing, and, and it seems like it still is that way. Because once you get one player out completely, the, the entire thing changes. And it seems like they are... And, and that, that is kind of bad design, though, because you, you don't want the game to devolve into chase one person death, chase one person death. You want it to be like a like a big frenzy free-for-all. Which is why super altruistic games tend to be really fun. Because everyone's just going hard, you know? Everyone's just having a crazy old time. Everyone's swinging, running around the place, doing jazz, saving people, and it's really fun. But, you know, Tunnel 1, next, Tunnel 1, next is kind of, seems like the, the strat. At least when you're fighting... Damn it. Ah, oh, dang it. I was trying to hit her. That would have been funny. That's it, Megan. You will pay for your crimes. But, I don't know. That's It's not as fun to do that kind of thing. And it only seems to work against solo players. I've noticed that. Or solo, like, teams. Because if a team is a Survive with Friends group, tunneling one person just doesn't work. You get, compl you get completely ass blasted. So then I guess, I guess the question comes down to... How do they reduce tunneling without completely destroying a killer's ab ability to win uh, win games against good teams? And it seems like Decisive Strike is going to become a new perk that allows you to help deal with the, the tunneling issue. But at the same time, you also... But, but at the same time, that's just a perk. But then if you completely remove the ability to tunnel people, then you gotta give the killer something instead. 
But then again, do you really want to bake anti-tunneling into perks instead of game mechanics? Hmm. These are questions for someone that isn't me. Maybe. Maybe a little bit me. I don't know. I'm just- I, I play the game. Sometimes. Not lately, but we're back. For a bit. Please, new killer, be cool. Please, new killer, be fun. Ah, I would love it if I, the new killer would, would be a really, really enjoyable character. I really want something fun and neat. And, and just new. I want something new, man. I want something new. I don't know. Maybe we'll get something. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching this video, everybody. Pleasure having you here. If you want to check out the merchandise, BrickyMerch.com, or check it out in the description. And it's a pleasure having all of you here, and I will hopefully see you when this new chapter arrives so I can get a bunch more DVD stuff going, because my want to play this game has kind of dwindled a little bit, but I really want to get back into it when the new chapter comes out, and please just not another Legion, that's all I'm asking for. Alright, bye-bye everybody. Thank you.